Okay, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles, Elder Bishop of the Great Millstone, peace and blessings to you fellow brothers pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Yeshua Chanak coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. And this is going to be an in-transit lesson. Lord's will short to the point. You know, uh, just kind of um, something that's actually I've been meditating on or it came to me like, you know, for the last couple of weeks. You know, and I'm just going to go ahead and just turn. I'm just turning on the recorder now and just speaking. You know, I pray the lesson is edifying. Let, let, let's just see how the Holy Spirit, where it moves. The title of the video is Everybody's Bugging Out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the title of the video this is just uh something that's just been coming popping into my mind lately and i didn't really have any precepts or anything like that and neither you know was i going to do a lesson on it but it just keeps coming up you know every everybody is bugging the hell out everybody's bugging out okay every everybody is a bug out outside of this ministry outside of this truth you uh you not knowing uh the truth what the truth is and, and, and they say truth is relative, right? That's what they say is according to Esau science. Um, there's many, and there's many sciences, there's many uh, knowledges out there, but there's only one true knowledge. And we have that one, we believe. Can we, can we um, you know, bring, pull down the most high? Oh, you had them guys out in, um, <laughs> them guys out in Louis, uh, Louis, Mississippi. One of the the, 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 the the heavier set heavier set guy, which I still don't still don't know his name to this day. Of course, he's not dealing with a full deck. He said you gotta you gotta pull down your house shy from the heavens, which whatever that means. At this point, they're just they're just bugging out, and we're seeing it. We're actually seeing everybody bug the hell out. Okay, we're seeing just people just go mad. They're going crazy. They're uh, uh, let me get a precept. Let me get a precept. Scripture's hit the, the spirit hitting me with a precept. I don't know, like I said, I don't even know where this is gonna go. You know, I don't want it to be a rant, but just my observation in the spirit. You know, nobody. And this is why. Oh, another another scripture popped in my mind in Isaiah the thirteenth chapter, uh, how the Lord is gonna make um, a man more precious than fine gold. The the men of the Lord are gonna be. I mean, you talking about a different level of precious. Like if you, if, if a man pulls up in a Bugatti, he's looked at as like, wow. You know, a Drake, Drake comes into a shopping mall, a shopping mall, the whole mall would, you know, shut down. Or even like a guy like Donald Trump. Donald Trump, he comes into a particular city, you know. I mean, it, the, the city stops. That, that's how it's going to be even more precious than that in this time because the men of the Lord are going to actually have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Basham Shai in these times. The only ones that are not going to be bugging the hell out. Why? It's because we're going to have the insight on what's going on. We're going to know why all these things are happening, why people are just losing their effing minds. And people are, are, and people are losing it. As Gerald Salente says, when, when people have nothing else to lose, they lose it. And you haven't seen nothing yet. Jeremiah 51. And give me a second. I'm driving and it's night, you know, and it's kind of a little traffic. Right. This is uh, Jeremiah 50, 51 and 7. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Uh, the nations have drunken of her wine. Go on, go on one of these... Um, Especially liberal uh, uh, college campuses, going Berkeley or you know, Sa you know, San Francisco, New York, NYC, any, any, really any of these colleges, and you ask them what is a woman, and there's a there's a debate on what a woman is. There's also a debate of what a man is. There's a debate if uh, men in drag clothes should, should you know teach your children, and and you know children should go to drag shows and and strip. There there's a debate on that. You have one one extreme and the other. And they can't come to an agree agreement. That's all part of that wine, that philosophy.
that you people have drunk. Esau Edom has given the whole world this philosophy as do as thou wilt. You know, there is no wrong. You know, we, you know, we can all live together. We can all, you know, enjoy whatever we like. You know, you can't, you can't persecute a, a person for their feelings. You know, if a man loves a man, that that's okay. You know, that's that's love. And the people they bought it, hook, line, and sinker. The liberation of women, hook, line, and sinker. And now this is what we have now today. Bugged out. Everybody's bugging the hell out. The black woman, she's bugging out sexy red. Esau paying off the degenerates of our people. And and the people are seeing, especially our people, that in order to in order to make it big, because everybody wants that that viral moment to get a bag. You know, you you go viral one time, you can tap into a big bag. 20k, 30k a month, 10k a month. And all you do is just do prank videos or you know, some BS. That's all that's all part of that wine, okay? The democracy, all you know, it's all inclusive. Okay, let me continue. Give me a moment. All right. <clears throat> it says, "The Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken." The nations have drunken of her wine, philosophy, doctrine, okay, the, the American way, do as thou wilt, women's liberation, L, uh, the alphabet community, democracy, uh, you could throw Christianity in there, religious freedom, okay, there is no wrong, you can do whatever you want, therefore, the na um, let me, excuse me, the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore, the nations are mad, the nations are bugging the hell out, it's all out war. And they can't come to any type of agreement. It's all out war. And then you have the small hats that are provoking. If there was peace, the small hats, they don't want peace. They want war. They want confusion. They 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 um they feed off of confusion. Their drive is confusion. Okay, if I can say it that way. They're they're fuel. It tells us in Proverbs the fourth chapter. I believe 17, maybe 16, is that they sleep not, least they have caused some to fall. A back in the sec second chapter, uh, they're as deaf and cannot be satisfied. They enlarge their, their desire as hell, which is the grave. They Everywhere they go, they, uh, they, they bring blood, they bring chaos, all for them to bring in their order, their, their digital uh, uh, captivity slavery under a RFID microchip. That's the whole plan. We're going to continue to say it because that's what's true and that's prophecy. And to hell with you if you don't believe that. You're going to take it and you're going to be destroyed, okay? Because you're bugging out. And you got a lot. You got a lot. Hey, Jake's bugging out even in within. Hey, how much more within this thing of ours, okay? This truth. You got men bugging out, uh, getting giving heed to seducing doctrines, giving, giving heed to just all manner of just madness. You would think, you would think, you know, our people have some type of, you know, um, you know, uh, 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 you know, balance, uh, you know, some type of foundation. But Jake, Jake is tossed to and fro, as the scriptures say. Every wind of doctrine, whatever doctrine just pops up, Jake goes with it. I'm like, man, it's, it, it, like, uh, you know, like I was saying earlier, it just came to me. Everybody's bugging the hell out. Everybody's bugging out. You know, this is why we have to, you know, stay in the scripture, stay, stay within sound doctrine, stay in the spirit of Yah Basham Shai. The scriptures speak about walking in the spirit so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. And there's not, there's absolutely nothing that you're missing in the flesh. There's absolutely nothing. This world absolutely has nothing to offer, all right, us Israelites. This is why our forefather Micah said. Uh, uh, arise ye and depart For this is not your rest You can't find rest here Okay everything that you earn You thought you earned Could be literally You know swiped In a in a, in a in a twinkling of an eye It can be taken from you And this is what's going to happen To the majority of the people on the earth Okay as this new system is uh, You know being uh, established Everything that they thought that they had Their little gold and silver ankle You had 20 gold coins that's not going to be legal tender in the very near future. They're going to come and they're going to possess all that. They're going to come and confiscate it. And you're going to have to get down with those digital currencies. And you know what? You're going to bow down all right, because you're going to have no helper and you're going to be bugging the hell out. Okay. We, 
we we seeing a lot of bug outs now. Just wait. Okay, I want to look at this word um, mad. The nations are mad. That's why all these nations are getting ready to prepare war. Or they are preparing war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Joel the third chapter. Let the weak say I am strong. Okay, this is all biblical prophecy. And it's prophecy that um that everybody's bugging out. Well, you know, I'll get that too. In Matthew uh 24, where it says, Because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That word cold there is psycho in the Greek. Okay, we'll get that. We'll we'll, we'll make we're gonna make this quick, okay? This is kind of a thought that just came to me. I'm you know, I'm just you know, spirits on me to just to you know, cause it just it just keeps bothering me. You know, it just keeps popping in my head. You know, it's a spirit. Okay. So the nations are drunken. Okay, that word mad. Let's look it at look it up. Um halal. Okay. To shine, to shine figuratively, to flash forth, to praise the bulls. Let me see. To make a fool of, making a fool, to act down. The last definition, to act madly. Act like a madman, a, a bug out. Isn't that, isn't that what a, a, a madman is? A, ma a madman is a bug out, right? Bear, bear with me. Let me, let me park this car. Give me a second. Surprise, I found parking. Can't pass this up, you know? Bear with me. It'll be quick. Okay. Right to act to act madly. Let me see actually if Google has something for the word bug out. You know, bug out meaning. Bug out meaning <sighs> okay that's the actual word it says uh, bug out verb slang slang mainly US to depart hurriedly Run away, retreat. Let's look at some more. So this is like a military, a military uh, terminology. The ideal behind a bag. Oh, that's, you know, a bug out bag. Let's see the Webster's. Right. Especially to flee in panic. To depart, to depart, especially in a hurry. To bolt, to break off. In, in a sense, you know, uh, like their mind. Let me see. Give me a second. You know, we use it. We we use it. You know, in a in a, you know, in slang. In a in a different. In a in a different um. Aspect, right? But it, it's it's slang to abandon basically without warning. Okay. Not not too much. I'm you know, we, we use it, you know, somebody that's bugged out, somebody that's their mind is not there. They're they're uh you know, they're in a psychosis state. You know, they're not dealing with a full deck of cars, just like those two Mississippi bug outs. Okay, their 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 minds are gone, like a, a homeless person on drugs. That's a bug out. Okay, or somebody teaching false doctrine. That's a bug out. Okay, somebody just in a drunken rage, a bug out. Okay, to act to act madly. You you're bugging out. Oh, he look at he's bugging out. You know, might have popped the pill, and and, and can't, you know, convulsing, flailing. Flailing of the arms, and 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 more importantly, the the flailing of the mind. Right to act like a madman, okay, halal. 
Okay, let's go back. Let's read that and let's go to Matthew. This is uh, Jeremiah. 50. So everybody's bugging out. These nations are bugging out. You got people protesting the whole Palestinian Israeli thing. Okay, you have people protesting about the, the whole um, Ukrainian thing. Now, it's, it's so crazy, right? Now, they don't even talk about the, the Ukraine. <laughs> they don't even talk. They, and I guarantee you they're, they're secretly pushing uh, 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 billions of dollars to Ukraine, funneling all type of money and weapons and support to Ukraine. Okay. Um, all top, all type of weapons and and support military tankers and and jets and shit. Funding is all funneling washing. Now you look. Now you're looking at uh, what's going on in uh and you know the the the, the war out there. Uh, it, you know, in the state of Israel, you know, they're chopping babies' heads off, and Hamas is just this monster. Da, da, da. And then people would just scream, I can't believe they're, they're just bugging the fuck out. Excuse my French, my Japanese. Okay. Then then people here in the States, they're mad. Their minds are mad. People drive, you know, when every time you get in the car, that's why you got to send up prayers. Somebody, you know, lights off, driving fast. They own all type of prescription drugs, street drugs. They, they, their minds are drunken off of philosophy. Well, the scriptures talk about how they stagger, but now we'll, let, we'll bring that out. Let me finish this. We'll bring the Lord's will. We'll bring that out in Isaiah. I believe that's Isaiah 29. We have um, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. And so Babylon, this is the reason why Babylon is going to be destroyed uh, amongst one, many other reasons. It's because they actually are the leading cause of why all these people are bugging the hell out. Why? Why everybody's acting mad? Okay, and that that drunken rage is going to be turned against them. Okay, because they've been, you know, they've been pretty much fucking with people, and the the way that they did it was by wine. You know, yeah, the sword they destroyed people, and that was the the start of it. But they come in with their philosophy, they come in with their their doctrines. The doctrines are liberating you from your your natural inheritance or your natural way of doing things. Okay. They they liber they so called liberate you and, and bring you into freedom. They liberate women, bring them into freedom. Meanwhile, you know they'll give you uh, uh, cell phones and computers. They'll give you uh, you know technology. You know they'll 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 educate you. Then meanwhile, what happens? The the more the morals, the, the social and you know social and moral uh, you know it it diminish it it um, crime goes up. A suicide goes up, quality of life goes down. Okay, people become broke. They 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 come in, you know, old oh, middle class. Middle, and then you then you start getting robbed from all your riches. So it's it's very short lived. Just like you know when you drink alcohol, right? It it feels good, you know. You know you you and your Murph, you and your folly. And I, okay, that's cool. You drink, you know. The, the most I actually put it here for you know for men, uh, you know, wine. You know, strong drink. Give me a second. He actually put it here, you know, for, you know, those reasons, you know, to be married. And it feels good. But what happens when you drink too much? Right. You have your peak. You feel good. You dance in, you know, this is feel good. Your ailments start to fade away. You're not even thinking about it. And then boom. Then now you feel like hell. So now the nations are now the nations are feeling like hell because all their economies are are done and America is steadily robbing them from all their natural resources, setting them coups, okay, bombing them, destroying destroying them and then painting them as the the the, the monster and then has economic uh hegemony over them. So now they can't do anything, setting up tariffs. Okay? But now the Heavenly Father has put a new spirit in the earth and meanwhile, while America was going around the world, raping, robbing, and murdering, just as they, they've always done, the other nations have been um, supplied with uh, a nuclear capability. So what, do, what the fuck you think they're going to do? They're going to bug out and they're going to shoot them missiles on you. OK, but really, they're going to be in their right mind, to be honest. OK. Uh, it says the nations have drunk a number wine, therefore the nations are mad. So we got what that word mad is. Hal halal. Um, if I, if I, I might have pronounced it wrong. H halal. Uh, the ha and the la and the la. Halal. 
okay, to to be in a drunken rage, okay, and is that's pretty much. Let's get Isaiah 29 first. That's pretty much the state of the whole world. They they nope nobody. Uh, well, the, these religions, Christianity is bugged out. These Christians are some of the most bugged out people on the planet Earth. The doctrines that they believe in, how how many holes are in their doctrines, and you know, just it is bugged out. Hell, hell, you know, you got hell as a doctrine that's bugged out. Satan falling from heaven, taking angel, that's bugged out. Though that's all dogma. And then when you we bring these things out, they're so deep into that madness that now they're looking at you. You're like you're bugged out, but we're literally the only ones in our right minds. Call law, y'all, Bashima Shai, and it's like wow, we you know. We we know we don't know if we're chosen, but we we damn sure have been called. That's for sure. Because if we don't have the truth, please point me to the truth. Where is it? Vocab Malone, Christianity, that hasn't got nobody anywhere. That that's got people destroyed. So we we definitely have the truth a hundred we and we have the hundred percent truth. It's all gonna be known when all hell breaks loose, and you're gonna see even a lot of these Israelites, a lot of these Israelites, they're gonna bug the fuck out. They're going to be chasing. They're going to be chasing down the brothers. They're going to be trying to get they're going to be trying to get the good news. But it's too late. The good news already went out. Uh, Matthew, the 25th chapter. OK, uh, Amos, the eighth chapter. Let me bring this out. Uh, Isaiah 29 and uh, and I stay yourselves and run there. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken. See, as the Lord, he made all the nations drink. OK, Babylon was that golden cup. The Lord actually used Babylon to do all these things, but uh, they are drunken, but not a wine. They stagger, but not but not with strong drink. So it's the, the, the drink, the, the wine is also synonymous with philosophies, with other doctrines. OK, and doctrine is pretty much like the foundation of any society. OK, because it's your beliefs. What you believe in, these people here in America, it's, and it's all, the folly is all on the internet. You you can't deny this, okay? It, it's a bunch of fucking weirdos. And I ain't want to so-called curse, but it's a bunch of weirdos. And you're like, is, there, is, is, this, set, is this set up? But a lot of it's not. They, they're, these people are actually like this. And as I was thinking to myself earlier today, I was like, man, these people, they actually need destruction. They they actually need it. All right, they're They're sick. Right. Which goes back into that word cycle. Let's get it out. Let's bring it out. Well, being they're, they're sick in the mind. They're staggering. They're drunk. These people are your parents. Your parents are drunk. Your grandma, Gma, Gma drunk. OK, your, 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 your auntie that's on drugs. She drunk. OK, your ex, your, your, you know, your ex girl, your ex boy. He drunk. She drunk. They drunk. They're drunken off of America. You know, here it is. Uh, all war, you know, war is getting ready to break out. They getting ready. They talking about, you know, declaring the, the 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 draft. You got the borders being flooded in with migrants. You got war. You got multiple wars on different fronts. You got this economic uh, collapse. You have the um, retail apocalypse. You have uh, inflation going 30, 40 <laughs> percent. You got a fucking homeless crisis. OK. You got a you got a, a fentanyl drug opioid crisis. People dying by the boatloads in all these major cities. You got uh, uh, nothing but crime and theft. People coming up kidnap, uh, you know, uh, kidnaps. You got child trap. You got all this shit going on, but you got people on online trying to be the influencer, doing pranks, doing the OnlyFans. Every bitch want to be an OnlyFans model. You know. Going to school, they want to go and travel. You got the passport bros; they want to just go and and get to finally get them a girlfriend, finally get a cook meal. Okay, so you can't tell me these people are not bugging the hell. Everybody's a fucking bug out. Everybody, outside of those that are in this truth, and you know what? That's how we view you people. We view you as bug outs. Okay, and, and you know what? We were once bug outs. OK, before we came into this knowledge, Matthew 24. And and 12 and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Now, when you go into this word, I just want to hit the Greek. It's not going to tell you it's going to. I'll just I'll just read it. That word there is psycho. It just says to breathe, blow, cool by blowing 
to be made you know it, it doesn't really give you too much let me see in the strongs and then there's really no uh, root but when you go into the it's literally spelled psycho uh, p-s-y-c-h-o so when you you look that up okay let's look it up it's a regular dictionary psycho right Un an unstable and aggressive person that's exactly pretty much the definition we read in Jeremiah 51 and 7 how the nations are mad in that drunken rage they're the unstable they're mad as they say out there in the UK mad that's a mad team okay the people are mad their minds are mad the average the average person working uh, uh you know working you know across the desk you know working on you know the, the, at the desk you know in one of these <clears throat> one of these uh, uh you know buildings and shit you know whatever, whatever you know restaurant business and you know shipping and receiving they work at FedEx or UPS or McDonald's or you know, they work at a bigger multi-international company, FedEx, whatever it may be, truck driver. Everybody's fucking mad. Okay? Everybody's unstable. They're on the brink. One more one more false flag, one more uh, a black swan event, these people are done. Okay? They're trying to find comfort. Okay? And they told you, this is your new norm. And it's only going to get worse from here. It's only going to go down. Uh, you're only going to go down the spiral from here. So you can look up more of this, but that's what it means. Psycho, a person of, of affected with a chronic, a chronic mental disorder, with abnormal or violent social behavior, a psychopath, exhibiting unstable and aggressive behavior. You see it all over the internet. You can go, you can. It's endless. It's endless videos of people bugging the hell out, killing each other. Okay, shooting each other, stabbing each other, random acts of violence, road rage. Right? It's it's it's. Then, then you, then you got within this Israelite thing, just bugging the hell, Jake bugging the hell out, all type of weird ass doctrines, all type of this. It's like, God, man, wasn't. Hey, but the scriptures say that because of iniquity shall, and this is because of that part of that wine is that sin. Esau, he so called liberates you and gives you technology, but he all, he also, uh, at the same time, he offers you sin. He all, oh, you know, it's, that's okay. You don't have to go by those ancient customs, those archaic barbaric customs you you're supposed to be free you know the children what about the children you always bring the children you had the children the children you want the children to grow up and to prosper you know with them smooth words now 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 all of a sudden now your woman now your daughter now your daughter's on only fans busting it open for uh 4.99 a month okay she busting it open for uh 2.99 a month okay she got 50 she got 50 bodies now she's she's in the adult industry now now she's on her eighth boyfriend and now you just gotta accept it okay now the now you know your 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 son your son he's in prison okay or now he's a sodomite yeah your your son your son he's a he's a, now your son is your daughter but you've been you've been liberated. You've been you got an iPhone. You know you 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 know you went to college, right? You became a news anchor, right? And, oh, you 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 know the technology. At the meanwhile, he was getting you drunk. You now you you see somebody that's drunk. They they liable to do any fucking thing. That's pretty much the state of these people. All right. Until next time, shalom to the elect.